owe you an apology. The last time we talked, I did one of those cliffhanger, leave you wondering, you're gonna have to tune in next time type things, and that wasn't right. Um, I was wrong, and that's, that's on me. Um, but today, today is the day that I make it all up to you guys. Today is going to be an information-packed video. All of your questions will be answered. Your first question is probably, why am I rocking this hairstyle? Why am I looking like a Nubian princess rocking the Bantu Shuri knots? Why am I honoring my ancestors this way? And the reason is because I am gonna do a little blow-dry demonstration with you later. My hair is freshly washed, shampooed, not yet heat protected. And the reason for that is I am getting this calls for a drum roll I, i'm sorry i just gotta do it i just i just gotta do it i'm getting a gina curl a gina curl is a chemical process that permanently changes the texture of your hair a relaxer changes kinky curly hair permanently into straight hair a gina curl changes kinky curly hair permanently into curly hair that is the new texture of your hair whether it's wet dry or in between your hair will now be curly I am impossibly excited for the Gina Curl. I've literally been counting down and my sister who goes hard for me and who's the most supportive sister ever has been counting down with me and texting me every day like 13 days, 12 days because she knows I'm a two year old. I have probably exhausted every last picture there is on the Hairs Talent that's the name of the salon, the Harris Talent website, and it seems really promising. So once you get a Gina curl, once your hair is permanently curly, your wash days look like this. You wash your hair with shampoo, you condition it, you put some leave-in in it, and then if you want, you put a styling product in and you let it air dry or um, I don't know, you probably could diffuse it lightly, although I think you're supposed to avoid heat in general, but that's it. It's not like a multi-step, multi-hour long marathon like the wash days that I have now, especially when I do maximum hydration method, which you guys already know is, yo, you need to clear your schedule for the maximum hydration method. There's no, there's no friendship, there's no dinner, there's no TV with the maximum hydration method. It's, that's, that's what you're doing for that day. The other thing that I'm really excited about when it comes to the Gina Curl is it seems, at least it claims to actually produce some length retention in people. And honestly, the pictures I've seen, the YouTube videos I've watched, people have been retaining most to all of the length of their hair. Now, back in the day when I was, you know, in sixth grade, fourth grade, and I had a relaxer, I was losing a lot of hair. I, if I could lose less than a centimeter in between touch-ups, I was like, that's a win. But with the Gina Curl, people are really coming back for their touch-ups with significant hair growth. And that would be awesome for me because I'm really having a lot of trouble with keeping my hair on my head. With breakage, with single strand knots, with triple strand, quadruple, I've seen up to 10 strands in a knot. Just parting it up. I'm really excited for the prospect of more manageable hair, but also maybe longer and maybe a little bit healthier hair. So a little bit more information on the Gina Curl. A lot of people, at least in the comments that I've seen on the videos, are wondering, okay, is this different than a curly perm? Is it different than a jerry curl? And I'm here to tell you that it is and it isn't. So the chemical that is used for the Gina Curl is the same chemical. It's a thio chemical. It permanently alters the hair structure. Some of the things that make it a little bit different are the actual process. So with the curly perm and with the jerry curl, oftentimes when you go in for your touch-ups, the parts of the hair that have already been processed are getting reprocessed, and the next time they're getting processed again. Whereas the way that Gina does it, she's really only processing your new growth every time. And so that's why you don't see as much damage. The other thing is that your hair does not have to say juicy, drip, drip, let your soul glow like it does with the jerry curl. Guys, I would not do that to myself and I would not do that to the world. I would not do that to the chairs and the sofas that I'm going to encounter going forward. I just, that's not a good look for me. Please trust that I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything that looks like that. This honestly looks kind of like 
naturally curly hair. I thought a little bit about doing a relaxer when I was thinking about ending my natural hair journey, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of over straight hair. Not that it's not beautiful. I mean, I, all textures are beautiful, but for me, I have kind of a tomato head shape. Um, and when I relaxed my hair, my hair was really flat and lifeless and it just wasn't a good combination. So what am I doing here today? Why am I blow drying my hair? That's random. So in preparation for my Gina curl, all they ask you to do is have your hair detangled. But as you guys know, I am not normal. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to go in that shop and cry in public. I don't want to make other people feel awkward. Miss Gina doesn't need to have to console a full grown woman. So in addition to my usual pre-med of ibuprofen, I will be blow drying my hair because there's not gonna be a single knot in there for them to snag. I, I guarantee that, I, I, I guarantee it. So I am blow drying my hair in preparation for the Gina curl. And since I am doing that, I decided to use a product that I've seen floating around YouTube a lot. This little happy little dryer brush. The Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler is something that I've seen constantly on YouTube. And I, as somebody who doesn't really enjoy blow drying my hair, I thought I would give this a try because it looks like a brush. It looks like just a regular old paddle brush and it looks pretty darn ergonomic. I don't know why, but when I try to blow dry my hair, I my hand ends up like this and I'm like kind of awkward and uncomfortable. And this just seemed like I could kind of just keep it simple and brush my hair. So this is why I am going to try this Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler and just let you know what I think of it. The other thing that I'm trying today that is new for me is this. I've never seen this before. I've had heard no reviews on it. It's a heat protectant spray. It's L'Oreal Paris Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray, three day sleek, 450 degree protection. The only reason I got this was because it was $4.99. I was walking through Target and the cheese spray was $16.59 and I was like, $16.59 for some liquid in a bottle? No. I haven't heard anything about this product, but I'm hoping it's going to protect my hair because I don't do heat damage anymore. Heat damage is very, very 1995 and I'm not here for it. So before I start this process, before I even blow dry my hair, I just want to uh, come against the spirit of heat damage right now, just officially. That's not going to go down today. Let's get started. All right, first I'm going to wipe the um, copious amounts of grease and sweat off my face. Okay. I forgot what a process blow drying hair is. Like this is mostly dry, <laughs> but I feel like I've been at it for way too long. Um, I think that I'm running out of steam. I think that I'm not getting my roots 100% dry just because of pure laziness. And I don't necessarily think it's the machine's fault, but I'm going to do something and I'm gonna come back to these sections, maybe give them a little chance to air dry in between so mama doesn't have to do so much work. But so far, so good. The, the actual dryer is decent. Like I said, I really like the ergonomics of it. I feel like it's taking a little bit longer than a regular blow dryer. I feel like I'm having to do a lot of passes with this, but we must forge ahead. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put of this. I've just been kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm not a hairdresser. Because if I was, I wouldn't be making this video about how I'm done with my natural hair. Okay, I just soaked it. It's, it's really wet. Oh, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda! this section I am going to go back over everything because my roots to be honest aren't hundred percent completely dry like they're about 95% dry um, but they're not a hundred percent so I'm gonna go back 
dowsy dows. I'm gonna go back over a lot of. I just wiped the section. <sighs> I'm, I'm losing a lot of shed hair. I detangled before this, and I've lost this much hair. And in the blow dryer's defense, I really don't detangle more than once every, like with a brush, once every two months, max. Finger detangling, maybe once a month. So there's a good chance that it's just like shed hair and not broken hair, but it does, it looks alarmingly a lot. Did I spray this one already? And can you have too much heat protection? Question is, can you have can you have too much heat protection? Is the question. So if when in doubt, spray it. So this is what everybody's like, this is what my hair is looking like. Um, but this is what my hair currently looks like. It's Pretty cool. I actually could rock it like this. I think this is pretty cool. It's got a lot of volume. I do want to see if I can get it a little bit more um, elongated just to, because it's the last time I'm seeing my hair, you know, my natural hair for a while. I think I, w I didn't lie to you guys. I think I am bra strap length. Um, so I think I'm about there. Like, you know, for the most part, I'm down here. That is the location of my bra strap, so I think I am. Um, not in everything. Definitely the front is shorter because, so in sixth grade, story time. In sixth grade, I, I, I was going through like a little bit of a crisis and I thought that my hair was like everybody else's. I thought, um, I went to a predominantly white school and all the other little girls had bangs and all the other little girls would cut their hair you know, in fourth grade and then come back in fifth grade and their hair would be down here. So I was like, you know what, that's cool. I can do that. I can, I can fit in. So I begged my mom to get bangs. And after a lot of begging, she acquiesced and she let me get bangs. But little did I know I would have bangs for the rest of my life. So this part of my hair has always been significantly shorter than the rest of my hair ever since that fateful day in fifth grade when I didn't listen to my mom and I didn't listen to what my heart was telling me because my heart was telling me you're not like the rest of the little girls. But okay, I'm gonna do this again because typically this is not how a blow dryer is supposed to look. Like I said, it's giving me Diana Ross, Tracy Ellis kind of bigness vibes, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the drawing board on this one. All right, just a little hang tight. Okay, so this is the end product, and after two go throughs, I I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it flatter or more elongated than this without doing some heat damage and I'm just not willing to do that. I think overall, like, overall I'm happy. It dried my hair. The thing I like most about it is the ease of use. But this is not the kind of blow dryer that you're gonna use to get your hair any flatter than this. It's not a sleek, blow dried hair look it just it definitely has a lot of volume and for me I like that but for some people they might want their hair a little bit flatter I think it's I think it's because of the bristles and to some degree it's a good thing because it keeps your hair separated from the heat source and there's a minimum distance that your hair can be from the heat source whereas I feel like with the traditional blow dryers your hair gets a lot closer to those coils that are inside which is nice because you can get the roots a lot flatter than I've been able to get them today. I can't really get into the roots too much because 
of the design of this. This is not going to be a Dominican hair salon approved dryer. That's it's just not going to fly. Like they that they would they would reject this. This wouldn't pass past the front door. Um, I'm not as enthusiastic about it as I've seen a lot of people be. It's okay. It got the job done, but there's there were a few downsides. I don't think I would like ravingly five star it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it four stars. As for my hair, I am really liking it. It's so big and voluminous, but it definitely helped me detangle my hair, which is really the point of this whole thing, and help me length check my hair, which is another point of the whole thing. So I am really excited, and guys, I'm really, really excited for my Gina curl. I am so pumped. I cannot wait to show you how things go. I'm gonna take you with me the entire way from the moment I step out the door to the moment I leave the salon at eight o'clock at night. So. Please tune in for that video. Thank you guys for joining me today. Please leave any questions, comments below. Most importantly, please, 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 please subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. You will get notifications whenever I post a new video and we can just continue to get to know each other. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Bye.